also here at the house on Nola Roost. Pretty quiet over here. Got sort of an extension on the driveway, be a boat parking space. Two car garage, balcony here over the garage. There's a crack here, looks older. Covered front porch, nice landscaping, big tree. And we'll go inside. So this is the definition of like a split level house. Um, <laughs> very quirky. So you've got your living space here, looking up to the stairs and looking outside, which is nice. The windows are really great, letting all the light. And then an electric fireplace there. And walking into your formal dining, you've got a view of the backyard. Nice. And then you've got your kitchen. Entry space here. Looks like there might be attic access up there as well. Nice kitchen here, looking out to the backyard and into the secondary living space, main living space, whatever you want to call it. And we've got under the sink, looks like that's been plated with something like a coating. So this could be like a breakfast area or just entry to the backyard here. And so down to the secondary or main living space. Another fireplace. That one looks to be wood burning because they have wood in there, but also because I don't see a switch for the electrical. So that one looks to be wood burning. Uh, we've got a nice mantle, some shelves on either side of the fireplace, and then a barn door here, which does not function. So that one to get that looked at for sure probably just needs to be put back on the rails but anyway laundry room here um shelves but it looks like there would have been at some point there would have been doors here to shut this room off or section it off but you do have a lot of storage which is nice this <clears throat> door here leads to the garage which i'll take you out to in just a second but you've got a single vanity sink here and then bathroom with a pedestal sink, basically a half bathroom, and storage, which is nice, and then a closet, which is interesting. So then back up here is the garage. So we saw this outside, and uh, we've got the balcony just hanging over here and it looks like this has been coated which is nice for maintenance purposes but pretty standard two-car garage I don't know if it's a oh these are the, the built-in shelves that they must have added years ago but just poking out here's your furnace and I don't see a year on there I don't see a year, but you definitely have that. Oh, it says 19 right there. So it's only four years old. That's good. Water heater looks older. Um, we would definitely want to have that checked, but this whole enclosure I would want to have checked too by the inspector <clears throat> just to be sure. There's a lot of elements in there. So back inside to the laundry space. And back through to the living area. Just go outside real quick. It's a nice backyard, as you would have seen in the pictures. So you've got an uncovered patio back here. It'd be easy to put some patio chairs and lawn furniture out. And then another space up here. So you have access through the kitchen area and then access through the secondary living area there as well. So pretty nice backyard. Looks like it's been maintained over the years. This is the side of the house, the side gate. And then this is fake AstroTurf here. 
and then the pool. So looks to be like a like maybe a drop in kind of pool. There's a crack there, but doesn't look like it's affecting the shell of the pool. And then you have this nice little space back here, even with the fan. Perfect for hanging out next to the pool. And the backyard goes pretty far back up to the fence, so it's a pretty good size lot for sure. Sprawling backyard back here. Nice back view of the house. Looks like it's been maintained. Go back into the living space. So as you've probably already guessed, all of the bedrooms are up here and mostly together. So you've got your primary bedroom there and then secondary bedrooms here with a door closes off so full privacy I guess so secondary bedroom here looking out to the side of the house this carpet does look like it's been newly installed so that's good got a walk-in closet here the attic access I do want to note too this might be the way they installed the wood, but it's, it's like out of plumb. So just be aware of that. Anyway, moving on. Another furnace here. I would want to have the inspector check the date on that. I'm not sure, but sounds like it's working. At least it's on. Got your guest bathroom here with the shower tub combination, and then linen closet, a lot of storage space, single vanity sink, and toilet. And into this secondary bedroom, this has access to the balcony. Nice, Come right out here. natural light coming in from that which is really good helping the space feel more homey walk-in closet here and then the last of the secondary bedrooms there is some water damage or some kind of damage here maybe they just didn't do a good job of replacing the wood at some point and then out to the balcony. And into the primary bedroom, which is a good size. Natural light coming in from the windows. And I don't know, this must be, I'm guessing electrical because they have a surge protector in there. I don't know why I'll say wood, but otherwise maybe a wood burning. If that's something you'd want to get checked out on the inspection. There is some damage here, probably from when they were doing some wiring or electrical work. And then you have your closet here. Not huge for a primary bedroom, but there's space to add more closet space if you needed to, maybe along the walls or something. And then you've got storage here as well, so that's helpful. And this is rubbing. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's rubbing on the wall. So again, something to be aware of. Yeah. Cosmetic, but obviously better that you know about it. Single sink here and then nice shower. There's a cool little move light up there. And that is it for this one.
I'm going to end that here. If you guys have any questions about this one, just let me know.